So how to actually make it happen? How to create this art business that allows you to make some money on the side while keeping your day job? Or maybe to have like a constant flow of customers that want to buy your products every day? Or maybe even have like a community of supporters that want to show you their love by supporting you while you make your own creations? If you're like me, then you've probably asked yourself this question a couple of times or maybe more. And you've actually tried this yourself a couple of times, just putting your work out there in the hopes that it will somehow make some money but you haven't had very positive results well that is me I am Jos Gonzalez and today I decided to create this channel to serve as a guide and maybe as motivations for you and me and hopefully other artists out there that are interested in this journey so the first topic that I want to talk about here it doesn't have to do with art skills or with having the right idea at the right time or having the marketing knowledge to make something viral. It has to do more with your own way of thinking. In my case, I found that a big obstacle that I have to tackle has to do with um, being your own boss. Because uh, whenever I start to work on my own projects, I tend to only focus on doing something that I enjoy doing because I've already worked throughout the day on somebody else's ideas so now i just want to work on my ideas at my own pace and enjoy that right but part of being your own boss is being responsible for it so you have to take yourself seriously because if you don't do that then why should anybody else do it too like for sure you're tired sometimes but you don't go to your boss and say something like you know what today i'm really tired i'm just gonna rest up i'm just gonna play video games the rest of the day because i deserve it there's no rush right there's no deadline you don't go and be like uh, you know what what's the point i'm not gonna try this right now because there's a lot of competition out there and i cannot figure it out so yeah I'll probably try it on next week. I hope that you don't do that to your boss. Take yourself seriously, be your own boss, be responsible for that, be a cool boss, be a good leader to yourself, and then put your work into that. So be realistic. The amount of time that I can put into this is probably gonna be one hour every day. But that hour, you gotta put your mind and focus into your project. Set a place, set a mood that you basically focus on that. Take yourself seriously. So yeah, over the past week, I basically tried some things so that I could enter this mindset to help me and these tips I can give to you you can create a playlist on Spotify with all the songs that you really like and only listen to this music while you're on this project so that you can like have this uh, motivation you can also like change the way you're working like you can move your desk around to another area in my case I decided to repaint all the walls in this room I decided to rearrange the desk where I work on and to put like the TV here so they could make like a, a cool setup for me to share with you and I also started brainstorming some ideas and I started reading this book which is um, Side Hustle by Chris Gilbo I believe it's supposed to be a book where you're gonna be able to work on ideas that you have and start making money from them in 27 days I don't know if that's gonna be possible it seems kind of like ambitious but hey let's be ambitious right so I'm gonna be talking about that book for sure it does seem really cool because it kind of like gives you daily tasks so sometimes if you're struggling with having a schedule or something this is kind of like gonna force you to do things. So one of the things that they actually talk about in the first pages is about the mentality that you should have. Like, how do you see yourself after 27 days that you're gonna finish this book? And that's what I've been thinking about. That is uh, the first homework that I made. I will be creating an account on Amazon affiliate links. I don't know how to do that, but I'm gonna do some research on that. And I hope that you, yes, you probably first viewer ever in this channel, I hope that you join in this adventure. If you are into watching YouTube videos about this, then consider subscribing. I want to make this like an easy communication channel. So if you're more into having stuff written, I'm also going to make a site where I will write down my ideas or some stuff that you can try, maybe some spreadsheets, I don't know, whatever it comes to be necessary for our art project. I'm also considering making a mailing list that I will send out every month with this summary of everything that I've tried and see how things are going but yeah more on that later I still don't know these are just random ideas that I have been thinking about lately 
Uh, let's see how it works. Till then, I just wanted to thank you for watching this video and I welcome you and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.